The greatest value of the IPBES report is the evidence and policy options that it presents. We could all make better choices for more effective action on land degradation and restoration. The report provides examples of effective land restoration in a wide range of ecosystems. These include reducing soil loss and improving soil health using salt-tolerant crops and initiating conservation systems, improving local livestock management practices and institutions and maintaining appropriate fire regimes, controlling pollution sources, reflooding wetlands damaged by draining, and restoring the processes which keep wetlands healthy, spatial planning, replanting native species, developing green infrastructure, improving wastewater treatment, and restoring river channels. Other steps to support restoration include improving monitoring, verification systems, and baseline data, coordinating policy between different ministries in order to integrate agricultural, forestry, energy, water, infrastructure, and service agendas, and incentives that reward sustainable land management. The report has already made an impact on global decision-making, having been taken up in the formal processes of, among others, the Convention on Biological Diversity and the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification. IPBES, Science and Policy for People and Nature.